Hello everyone, welcome back. So we are gonna start off with a grocery haul today. So this is kind of um, a different situation. It's a Tuesday and I had a grocery pickup. I usually go on Fridays and so I actually decided to only get groceries for Tuesday through Friday and I will go again on Friday or Saturday. I'm trying to get back onto Fridays, but I'm also trying to eat out of our pantry and our freezer to get some food eaten up and moved out before it goes bad. So we had enough in our freezer that I actually got through yesterday, which was excellent because on Sunday I tried to put in a grocery order and I couldn't get a spot until today. So um, it was kind of odd. It, we usually can get spots like whenever, like I'll do it at 10 o'clock the night before and I can still get a 9 a.m. the next day. So I couldn't get a spot for Monday at all. So I got a spot for this morning, which is great. Um, I'll show you what I got. This is, uh, it's tough because things like, um, things like the snacks or the oatmeal and breakfast type things that I got, that should last us for probably two weeks. The, the, um, the pancake mix should even maybe last a little bit longer than two weeks because we don't do a ton of pancakes. But I will tell you what we're having for the next four nights for dinner and then you can look forward to the next grocery haul where I will do a full week for you. So last night what we had was just out of the freezer. It was a double batch that I had made one night. So we had one with dinner and then I threw a whole batch out in our freezer and it was a chicken tortilla soup which was really good. The first time we had it, we thought it really needed more seasonings and I'm so glad that I wrote that on the bag when I threw it in the freezer. I wrote what it was and that it just needed heated in the crock pot but to add more seasonings, lots more. And so I did that and I'm so glad I did because it was so delicious. Um, it just needed more seasoning than I gave it the first time. So let me tell you what we're having for dinner, our quick little Tuesday to Friday meal plan. I know it's not a lot, but maybe it will still help you guys to um, meal plan, come up with some ideas. And then like I said, look forward to the next video because in the next one, we are going to have a full week, um, maybe even a little bit more. I might try two weeks, but my fridge is finally working with just the one week. So I'm kind of afraid to like push it and have it not work. We'll see. This is my very odd four day to a week grocery haul here, and I will show you what I got. First, we have been doing a pizza night once a week, and so I got three Bobbly crusts. This is the best frugal option I have at the moment. Um, we, I'm trying to think how to say this. So, you know, all the different pizza options here. So we were doing frozen pizza because I have not yet mastered a good pizza crust. Um, so we were doing frozen pizza, but this is cheaper for us for me to get these and then get our pizza sauce and such. So I am currently doing this, uh, but I'm trying, I actually found a copycat for this. So it's on my list of things to try is the copycat Bobbly crust. Um, and if I could do that, that would actually be even more frugal than buying the crust and making the pizzas. And so we're going to do that, but it probably won't be this week. So I got three bubbly crusts because yes, it does take three for my family. We do sometimes have some leftovers, but it takes about three. I usually do a cheese, a pepperoni, and then either another cheese or a half cheese, half pepperoni. But I've told them it would be really nice to try something different, not just cheese and pepperoni. So we'll see what we do there. So this was a substitution. I had asked for two of the 28 ounce sauces and they subbed it with four of these um, 14 ounces, which is fine by me. We'll just use whatever we need and the rest is for the pantry. Then I got a light sour cream. This is for one of the dinners that I'm going to be making. Got some corn because I put this in a lot of dinners and tacos and things like that. So I always try to have some corn on hand. Broccoli because we just like to have a hot vegetable that we can have as well as salads and things. This is for dinner tonight. It's a spinach and ricotta 
family size, of course, ravioli. I hope it's enough. Looking at it um, ounces wise, when it said 18 ounces, I was anticipating I'd have more in here. That's kind of the downside of shopping online, but that's okay because we're gonna give it a shot. And then of course the Alfredo sauce is to go with it. So we've got Alfredo sauce and we've got that. And that's gonna actually be for tonight and I'll show you in a minute. These are for two separate meals. Cracked chicken is gonna be one. And the other one I think is actually for the taco dip as well. So there's that. A snacky item, I just got some pretzels. Kids can take a bag to school. I know Michael really likes to snack on those when he comes home, so there's some pretzels. Then I've got, this was a substitution. I had gotten the Great Value brand, but they were out of that vanilla yogurt, not yogurt, um, ice cream. So they subbed for the Blue Bunny, which I think is probably pretty good still. Then, just for fun, frozen hot chocolate ice cream. This one, we will probably eat up on some desserts this week. I've got an apple crisp out in the deep freezer that we'll probably make this week as well. This, I'll probably keep until it's a little more Christmassy time. I try to start stocking up because what I noticed last year is that our Walmart sells out of their um, ice cream, their seasonal ice cream, really, really fast. And then you can't get it again. So last year when I learned this, I threw some out in my deep freezer and I was so glad I did come December because I couldn't find it anymore. They were just constantly out of it. So I grabbed this and it actually was the only seasonal one that they had in stock. I could not get the peppermint one, which is so good. I could not get a bunch of them. So I got some frozen hot chocolate because last year we thought this was pretty good. And I think probably on most of my grocery hauls moving forwards, I am probably going to try to get one of these and just kind of stockpile it for the winter. It's just one of those wintertime treats that we just absolutely love as a family and we love all of their different flavors. So I'm probably gonna try and get one on every grocery haul, but it's not necessarily being eaten every week. It's going to get saved for Christmas time. So there's that that we got. This is for Teddy's birthday. Another sub actually was the cake. So this was not the cake I ordered, but that's okay because that's why I did it early like this. And we'll actually eat this, but they've been out of a lot of cake mixes and things like that. So I wanted to get it early. So I got him a chocolate fudge cake and I got three vanilla frostings because they don't go bad. So I'll be able to use them in the future as well. I'm thinking I only need one, maybe two of those tubs, probably two. But I got a third just in case. And if I need it, then I have it. And if not, I will use it in the future and it'll last for a long time on the shelf. So I'm not too worried about that. So that's what I got for Teddy's birthday. I got some of these blue corn tortilla chips. They really liked those. They're simple and organic. Those will go with the taco dip that we're having. So here's my one bars. Love these. Best, best, best protein bars ever. Just best protein bars ever. More applesauce because if you've been here before, you know we love applesauce so much at my house. We eat applesauce for snacks, for lunches, for dinner, for I don't even know what, for everything. My kids will just grab a bowl of applesauce. Um, so I do get the unsweetened and we just throw a little bit of... Um, cinnamon up on top my kids love it so we've got that we've got some oatmeal for addison and abigail to have some mornings especially if they don't like the breakfast that we're cooking then i've got some of this crusty's buttermilk pancake mix goldfish and vanilla crackers are going to be the snacks this week along with the pretzels, but the pretzels I know like Michael will snack on those too, whereas the Nillas are mostly gonna just be the little kids snacking and the goldfish, all the kids will snack on those. So we've got those. Then for drink wise, I've got a lemonade and two raspberries. This will last more than the week, but they have been out of these and I've had a hard time finding them at any of our stores. So whenever they have them in stock, I try to grab like three boxes and that will last us more than a week, but at least then I have some in my pantry. This is what I've been liking more than the lemon juice lately, is just the crystallized lemon packets. That should last me more than a week as well, but it only comes in a 50 packet box, which is fine by me, because then it's I've got that as well. And that is our grocery haul. Here are some dinners for the week. We're gonna have Alfredo ravioli tonight with salad, which I have left over. 
from last week. Smokehouse maple chicken will probably put just some broccoli with that, which you saw out on the table. Taco dip, I'll probably make up some corn to go with that. And then on Friday, we're gonna do the bobbly crust pizza with some more of the salad from today. I've got enough salad that I should be able to do the two meals with salad. So that is what we are going to have to eat for this week's dinners. Last but not least, because I forgot about it, um, I have I, I have a new pack of underwear for one of the kiddos because they have sized up. So we got a Minnie Mouse pack of undies for them. We are back home from picking up the big kids and running our after school appointment stuff. So when we were out, we had to get wrapping paper at Target because believe it or not, I could not get wrapping paper anywhere else that was not Christmas. Isn't that crazy? Our Walmart only had Christmas, several other stores I checked only had Christmas, and this little guy is turning one. So I wanted birthday paper. So we lucked out and Target had some birthday paper that we were able to grab, and I'm hoping that there's enough wrapping paper for his birthday and Abigail's, because hers is shortly after Christmas, and I just don't want them to have to have Christmas paper on their birthdays, because those two things are separate. Daddy bear. Say one. Uh. No, don't eat the wrapping paper. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed the grocery haul and maybe got a good dinner idea from it. We'll see. Let me know in the comments down below what you are having trouble finding at the grocery store still or if you're not having trouble finding anything, maybe you're able to find everything that you need. So I'm interested to know what it's like everywhere in terms of that, because we're having trouble finding the most random things like cake mix and birthday wrapping paper. So let me know what you are or are not able to find easily now, I'm curious. And thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button if you'd like to join in and see some frugal ideas, some large family fun stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.